What made what made you um post that? So I'm just uh I'm I'm just uh you know playing my doing my thing playing sports and just staying focused on on sports primarily. But I'm seeing the elder big homies, 20, 18, 19, like the the big homies Ray Boyce is rest in peace, the to- Terry Moses, you know what I mean, the Tony Barkers, the Joe Barkers, uh uh you know the Gary Barker, Joe uh. Gary Barner, you know, the Barner boys, you know, and the list goes on. Uh, Baby Head, Bonnie Hunter James, you know what I mean? Cats like this. These just vicious niggas running around in my neighborhood at the time and first generations, and, and they was older than me. So I, I'm, I'm seeing this as a kid, but fascinated from it. Because, mm-hmm. like, in one minute, I may see my homies, my big homies come through. These niggas got on the AC Deuces, the brims, you know what I mean, with the feathers pleated up. I'm talking about to a T, look like they done went to somebody's shop. Yeah. That's how clean they dress, but they <laughs> gangsters, bangers, right? Yeah, yeah. And seeing this and seeing how the, the, the homegirls was dressed just as well, big old afros with they dashikis and they, they uh, 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 pedal pushers, you feel me? Uh-huh. And so seeing this, it was like inspirational to me, like, damn, man. Man, if I get involved, man, if I if I become a gangster, I'm, that's how I'm going to be. I'm going to be like the homies, you know what I mean? So these became my influential Mentors, cats like the homie Bonnie Hunter preach. Rest in peace. We just lost the homie preach. You know what I mean? I, I, like I said, it's so many of my homeboys that I take bits and pieces from, mm. and and I and I injected it to my own self character and made BJ. That's why he became so explosive and he was the way he was because I just dissected DNA segments out of certain individuals. Mm, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. They attitudes the whole nine. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, did they ever, when you officially got put on the Bounty Hunters, right? Did they approach you or did you approach them like, yeah, I, I want to be on? A little bit of both. It was, it was, it was, the hood's approach me was already there based on my influence. I mean, my, my affiliation with certain cats who mm-hmm. were in the streets, but I had a connection with them because I lived two lives. So let me break that down. When I started out, like I say, because I, I was so into my parents, my family, my siblings, and being close to my family that I would do anything, the right things, to please them. So mm. all everything I did right, I did it to please my family. It wasn't no fun. I just had I had to keep it like that because I don't want my mom and daddy to find out. Yeah, yeah. I don't want them to be disappointed in me. Because when I caught my first... I caught my first body, attempted body, and caught a body. They gave me a body, and I had attempted body. I had two attempts, and then an ADW, and they gave me a body. This was 17 years old. My daddy spent money, bank, bank, man, to get me out of this situation because he didn't want me to go down that path. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I ended up, you know, beating the beating a couple of the cases, and then I ended up, ended up pleading out to a case on on one of the attempted bodies. Cause I actually paralyzed the dude, put him in the wheelchair. You know, I chased a nigga down. Nigga uh, called himself they, you know, called himself in a jump on me, rat pack me, right? Three cats, and so uh, when we 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 in the mix of squad, but I'm 16 years old, my 16 finna turn 17 at the time. We in the mix of getting down. I'm thinking it's me and this nigga finna get out. I'm locking up the lock heads with him, so I jump in the stance to lock head with the nigga. I didn't see the other cat come out the blind. He come out the blind. He fire. But I, he skipped me, and I, I kind of whoop out of him, and I catch him, and I go to do do this dude, and he catch me. So we blended for a minute with both of them, boom, boom, boom. They take off on me. I said, oh, oh, okay. I break to the house. Got a motherfucking deer spear knife, which is an eight-inch buck on it right here. And it got the deer, it's got a deer backing on it. It's all straight deer horn from a uh-huh. deer. Uh-huh. Grab my knife, clust him, get, go outside him. I'm looking around the perimeter, I'm watching, looking, and I spotted the nigga. Take all eyes on him. He took off. I saw him, nigga. You want to run for the rest of your life, nigga? Cause I'm not stopping running. I'm killing this nigga. And I chased him down. Hit him on Compton New. Compton Avenue grabbed that nigga and brought him right to me. Clutched him. Hit him in the spine. And came up on him. Dropped the nigga. And then I kicked him and got on. You know what I mean? So they gave me that attempt on him. You know what I mean? Cause I paralyzed him and shit. Mm. And so that was my introduction into the system. That's how I got into the system. You know, so it it was like, it, it, it called me from both angles, from that aspect of it. And then when I lost my king and my queen, 
and my little brother back to back, it's a wrap. I told the devil, give it here. Come on. I'm going to be your most far, foremost devious warrior. Give me that motherfucker suit. I put the red suit on. I told God, rebellious against the Father. I told Allah, I'm gone. Man. I don't believe in this God, Jesus stuff. Crap, me and my mama didn't know him. Because if not, she wouldn't be dead. My daddy wouldn't be dead. My brother wouldn't be dead. Fuck all this shit. And I went in and I became Bonnie Hunter motherfucking BJ. Thank you for tapping in with us. In order to see more clips like this, check out this video here or check out this one here.